say some more nice things about you. I want to uh, pick uh, your mind about editing and publishing. I've got all sorts of questions lined up for you, but I do want to thank you specifically because when you were a literary agent with uh, Signature Literary, uh, you were the first ever literary agent to be interviewed on middlegradeninja.com. I think I was in contact with you because I wanted to get to Courtney Summers. Uh, which is who is also available at middlegradeninja.com, what a wonderful interview. Uh, and you said, well, hey, would you ever want to interview, uh, and I'd interviewed, I don't know, 50 plus authors at that point. Uh, and you said, would you ever want to interview a literary agent? And it was just like a light bulb went off above my head. Like, oh yeah, I bet, I bet people would love to read interviews with literary agents and they absolutely have. And every literary agent that has ever appeared at middlegradeninja.com uh, has only been because you took that first step um, and, and and made it uh, okay. You know, somebody as cool as Amy Tipton uh, is appearing in middle grade, and I would imagine other literary just to be thinking, I guess I could I could do that as well. So thank you so much for that. And thank you also, you are thanked in the back of Banneker Bones and the Giant Robot Bees, uh, because back in the querying days, um, I used to do the uh, super sneaky thing of, hey, I wanna be on my blog, also wanna read my book. Uh, I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, I had uh, struggled uh, with an early draft. There were too many characters being introduced and, and too many relationships. Uh, and one of the uh, central things of, of Banneker Bones is it is about uh, an interracial family, just like mine. Um, we've got a, a white husband, a black woman, and Banneker himself, of course, is, is biracial like my son. And then they also have an adopted daughter who's Chinese. Uh, and so I had gone through a couple of different paragraphs trying to point out to, to people that would that would wonder well, how how does how do you get Chinese from a, a black uh, mother and a, and, a, and a white father? Uh, and it was your idea to just have her say, I'm adopted. And it was such a wonderful moment. It's one of my favorite lines in the book because it's such a very link thing to say and it really illuminated the character for me. Is, oh, she would be proud of that. She would walk up to, 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 to new people and just say flat out, I'm adopted. I was a wonderful line, so I want to vouch for the editing services of Amy <laughs> Tipton. They have helped me out tremendously. They will help you out as well. Uh, and let's uh, talk a little bit about some other folks you've helped, because uh, you helped uh, Amy Reed, um, yeah. you've helped Courtney Summers, you've helped a, a lot of other clients. In fact, why don't we start there? Uh, who are some of the authors that you've worked with as a literary agent, if, if that's comfortable? Yeah, like, I mean, you have my entire list. So you know that I've worked with Courtney, you know I've worked with Amy, you know that I worked with Kirsten Cronmills, who also is like an amazing writer. She won the 2014 Stonewall Award. So like, I have a really good like, like, credit or like what they give, bring to the table like they give me like I am honored to work with these people in these books Katya Jeff, I don't know how to even pronounce it because he pulled me email but um, Katya is like doing what the woods keep which is my first sci-fi thriller mystery whatever you want to call it it's really good is what you want to call it um Kayla Ancrum is another amazing author and like I have a huge list of people Scott Southern is on my list Kathy Cooperman is on my list. Marcy Blackman was on my list. Uh, I just, I work with all kinds of people. Um, and people you might not know, like I did before, uh, like before they became famous, before they have books, they found like me first. Um, I worked with Victoria Schwab. I worked with Tara, um, Mafi, I've worked with DC Whitney, I worked with Suzanne Young. Like I've worked with a lot of people and know a lot of people. <laughs> so I do, I have a really good background. I have a really strong background of editing and I'm more behind the scenes. So therefore I'm quiet doing interviews like this and like, I do feel weird. I had a stroke in 2009, so it affected my voice. And I do not like talking because of my voice, but you know, like I'm not gonna pass up opportunities. I'm 
was freaked out like before 2009 when I had a fine voice, but I wasn't gonna pass up the opportunity like working with you and being on your middle grade ninja. I was like, no, I'm gonna do these interviews. I want to be seen, I want to be heard. I'm gonna fight for like my right to talk and like be seen and i think that's also why feral girl books is like so me like it's exactly where i'm supposed to be and who i'm supposed to be well i think you're uh, doing a wonderful job i can absolutely hear you i can absolutely vouch for your written <laughs> and uh, editing abilities um <laughs> but i'm uh, hearing you very clearly i'm sure that the listener is as well and i want to know um I, I want to peek inside your mind and know some of what you know over 14, 15 years experience of working with such great authors. In fact, a, a follow-up question uh, that I wanted to ask you, because you have worked with a lot of superstars. I always uh, put Courtney Summers up front yeah. because she thanked me in the back of this is not a test. Uh, and that's one um, of my proudest moments. I'm more proud of my name being on I love that, that book part. than I am on my books. <laughs> oh my God, I, I bugged Courtney, I think five or six years. I said, please write a zombie book, please write a zombie book, please write a zombie book. And she was already a zombie fan, so it just worked out that she wanted to write a zombie book, but she was nice enough to, to pretend that I, I maybe had something to do with nudging her in that direction. It was a wonderful book. Um, but what is it that, in working with so many of these wonderful authors, are, is there a specific quality um, that you can sense in an author? Or what, what are the qualities of a successful author that you've noticed in working with so many? I just have a really good eye, I think. Like, I have a keen and discerning, like, I for potential, like I was known randomly, like three authors wrote me and asked me about agenting. I was kind of like said I was the Mr. Rogers of Asians. Like I, like Mr. Rogers would build up confidence and like set you off into the world, you know, like both like be confident in, in yourself. I was kind of like Mr. Rogers in the way that I would nurture writers for these long, successful careers. Like, Courtney came to me and she was amazing from the start, like very talented. I enjoyed the first book, obviously I sold it. I love the book, Cracked Up To Be, will always be like the end all be all for me. But, um, I don't know how these things are decided, but if I get a vote, I go ahead and vote that that is, uh, is already a classic young adult novel. <laughs> it is such a classic. I love that book. But um, like, this is not a test. You can see a progression of like, that's her fourth book. So you can see like from the beginning to like, this is not a test to how like she set things up. Like the pacing on that book is so incredible and i was on the edge of my seat reading the draft just reading it i was like this is really good and i'm not sure how much i had to do with that book but i was in the book like i'm a character named miss tipton i think it's page like 82 or something i was like if that book becomes a movie i'm meryl streep I'm like that's <laughs> like me meryl streep she's gotta be me <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing about that but i actually like came up with the title like that's how involved i am with like your process of working with you on your books i came up with the title this is not a test because she had in the book like they're calling the service and one of the characters said um tina is whatever uh, the b word or something and i was like tina oh are you said because like Tina, this is not a test. And I was like, are you doing that because of this? And she was like, no, and I think it's just subconscious. She was, but I brought it out and said, this is what your book should be called. Like some girls are, was originally titled some girls are just, and I was like, let's cut off just. So yeah, she wrote that title, but I like 
cut off the last word and helped with the title. So I'm really hands-on. If you want me to be a hands-on agent, I was really hands-on. And that's why, again, I think I'm really good editor and editorial service person because I offer all kinds of like nurturing and support. Yes, I give memes, I give gifts, I send you videos, I talk trash about TV. Like, <laughs> which is an important quality. I, I'm fun. I'm a fun person. I'm very friendly. I'm very open. So I am going to communicate with you and I will give you as much hands on experience as you need. Amy Reed is a different story. I didn't really have to do much with her because she didn't want much. She was really talented. She's an incredible writer. And I think it was more business oriented stuff for her. Like, I didn't send as many memes or gifts or YouTube videos or whatever, but I would talk more to an editor for her. And I would talk about the advances. I would talk about nitpicking contract stuff. I would talk about royalties, like things like that, like more for her. And then Courtney, uh, she was incredible and she's talented and she's amazing. And she didn't need as much, but we like collaborate. We work really well together. We became really good friends. And so therefore, yes, I sent her memes and gifts and videos <laughs> and um, more of like a Mr. Rogers so now she's off to some other agent and she's going to have a really long, successful career. And I think that's also because she's driven, like that's who she is. And I think all of my authors are very driven people and that's who they are. They're going to have really long, successful careers. And I built that foundation and I'm really proud of building that foundation for them. So what